What is up guys? It's Jess here. Thank you for tuning in again. So in the last video I did mention that the Cadillac did get sponsored. So I actually hit up Mishimoto and I asked them if they would sponsor me for a certain part that I wanted off their catalog and they actually went ahead and accepted me. Really excited to make this video today. Uh, this isn't really going to be an install guide or anything because they actually do provide you with a proper install guide. So this is just basically going to be me doing it and basically I don't I, what you would be doing if you were to do this yourself uh, and kind of a review uh, because no one really has done a review on this so I think some people might be interested in it and uh, it should help an issue that I'm having so the issue that I'm having is I've noticed that at, at startup I am actually getting a lot of black smoke coming from the tailpipe and I'm pretty sure it's associated with the catalyst downpipe because once you start running Catalyst Downpipe and you don't do a PCM update or a flash or whatever, you are basically running rich. And I know until I get the tune, until I get the tune, the issue is still going to retain. But hopefully by doing this, it should help it. Uh, because I think the black smoke is coming from blow by, if, if I'm not mistaken. But I could be mistaken. So who knows? But. Regardless, I'm really excited to install this just because I know the LTG platform or motor is actually very prone to blow, blow by. So this is going to be helping that issue. And yeah, guys, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys the actual things that I got. But for right now, I'm going to give you a little cold start. This car hasn't been turned on for like may, maybe two weeks. So it's going to be a real good uh, cold start. And you'll see the issue that I am having. So as you saw in the last clip, uh, there's quite a bit of black smoke coming from the tailpipe. So hopefully uh, the things that I get actually help that. So I'm actually gonna move the car real fast. Uh, I'm thinking about actually making a separate video about my rear big brake kit. Uh, I haven't installed that because you know, if you ever dealt with brake fluid, that shit is annoying. So I'm gonna go ahead and potentially do that today. Uh, I know. I have, I'm pretty sure I have everything I need. I also bought standing steel brake lines for all four corners. So uh, I need to do the big brake kit in the back and the stainless steel brake lines. But for this video, I am going to be focusing on, I guess the motor, cause that's the thing that I got. So let me go ahead and do that. But I'm gonna just move it before it gets too hot because then it becomes a hassle. Ah, love that smell of gas in the morning man I didn't even check if there was anything in front of my car what if I would have just ran some shit over I've actually done that before I ran over my uh, my power drill or impact gun whatever I ran that shit over in the ice 300 once I had to buy another one pain in the ass but that's what I get for being a dumbass so now I am trying to fix my Cadillac inside the garage. I don't know exactly how I want it, but I'm gonna say something like this. Oh shit. Oh yeah. It's not really easy to vlog and drive a stick, even though I'm not really driving it, but you get the gist. So let me go check it out. I think I am good. Let me put the e-brake on. I hate that this this car doesn't come with with, with a like actual pull e-brake. It's like this little button here. Such a pain in the ass, but whatever. Because when you don't have your key, you can't move that or like disable that. But I guess they do that because then it becomes a harder thing to steal your car. Because how are they going to disable this if they don't have your key? But I don't get how they would get inside your car without a key either. Anyway, maybe they bust the window, but then what's the point of that shit? Who the fuck wants to run, roll around in a car with a busted window? But uh, I think it looks pretty good. Let me check this side. Man, this thing stinks like gas like crazy. Like when I first saw these lines, I was so worried, but I've noticed that this actually comes out of the exhaust. Uh, it seems like water, I've actually smelt it before and it's like water but 
Yeah, uh, the car is fuck. It's like disgusting, filthy right now. So, oh well. But the car still turned on. Uh, it's been it hasn't been turned on in a while, so that's cool. But yeah, let me kill it before it gets too warm. So guys, I went ahead and just laid everything out right in the open. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I actually did go ahead and make a unboxing video to this. But uh, when I actually made the video, I was kind of scared that it wasn't gonna be the things that I had ordered and exactly as I thought. Uh, they only sent me half of the order. So I actually had to wait for, I think, this half of the order for like over a month and it was just like a pain in the ass oh maybe not a month i'm mean, maybe exaggerating but it just took a while and that's mainly the reason why i haven't been making a video on this thing because this is a pretty straightforward thing to put on um this is mishimoto's dual catch can so it one goes off the crankcase another one goes off the pcv or pcc i don't know something like that ccv i don't know something like that but uh yeah this is their dual catch can kit uh it's gonna take <laughs> The place uh, basically this, all this, all this, this. Um, it's gonna take the place of that, and it's just gonna bring a little flavor to the engine bay. Uh, keeping the theme going with the little red. Uh, there's that's gonna be like the little red ac accenting. Um, I'm actually gonna be picking up a strut tire bar, but I think I don't think I'm gonna make that red. That's I think that'll look kind of ricer-ish. Um, but I do have uh, other things coming for the car. I have big plans for it. Uh, it's gonna be a complete build, but this for right now, it's it's a slow process uh, being that I have. Oh, can't mention, I can't show that. I forgot, I haven't showed that car. Uh, Gus actually just showed up. And you guys are gonna be really excited to see that car too. We're gonna be making a video about that thing too. But for right now, uh, can't show you guys just yet. Uh, if you guys actually followed him on Instagram, uh, some of you guys have actually followed him on Instagram somehow. And uh, if you guys do, you guys would have seen his car. So, yeah, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and start installing all this stuff and see where things go. But I'll give you guys a little glimpses here and there. Um, I don't really want to make a tutorial because Mishimoto does that themselves and it's spot on. So... Why mess with something when it's perfect? I actually forgot to show you guys uh, the catch can itself. Um, this is the catch can, like just like that one. I went ahead and opened this one just to see. I hadn't opened it before. And it's actually baffled. So that's how much oil can be in there. And it's baffled, so that's pretty cool. Um, that means that it can't like sway in there or it can't go back out. So that's pretty cool. So I went ahead and installed the cans uh, off the K brace. It's here and here. So here is how it's gonna sit. This is without the hoses. I still haven't removed anything, so it's still there, but I just went ahead and put the uh, actual ca catch cans in their place. And I ran into a potential issue. I mean, I made it work, but it could be potentially an issue with other intake systems if they go even further more. Uh, with the ZZP intake, you have just enough clearance uh it's actually rubbing up against it let me see if i could get it to focus there probably not oh yeah you can see it's, it started to rub uh rub off actually some of the finish on the catch can but it's still it's still fine by me um i tried to wiggle it as much as i could closer to uh the turbo area but um i wanted there to be more of a space here here because I feel like uh, when the engine is under load uh, there's potential swaying so I didn't want it to potentially hit that so I left it closer to the actual intake box but just wanted to let you guys know because you see like this on a stock car that's probably not an issue but with other aftermarket products um, you run into the potential of there being issues but for right now I'm gonna go ahead and start removing uh, the the OEM stuff and I'll show you guys what that looks like once I get it out. So this is a piece uninstalled. This in theory, this is what I'm eliminating. Uh, I'm sure it's more, compl more complex than this, but this is just how it goes. Uh, just on the crankcase like that. And then it goes straight to the intake. But um, this is gonna definitely be more of a beneficial thing. All right guys, I went ahead and finished up the install. 
and everything went smoothly um there were a few little things where i feel like this was unnecessary they should have just made a hose that would have kind of fit both either forward or backwards uh when you watch the video of the install by mishimoto you will know what i'm talking about there but uh it went smoothly uh, i might put an extra a few extra zip ties in a few places so that uh, i'm kind of nervous that this is touching you know like there um so i might try to make it so that it doesn't touch back there either so um that's the it's installed all right guys i quickly wanted to make a little outro video uh yesterday i forgot to do that so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that so under the engine bay of the ats uh i think in the last clip i still hadn't installed the oil cap so there's the oil cap i really like i really like the like slogan it says push the limits that thing is so sick like uh even on the catch cans it says it like it's i love that but um just to quickly do a quick little review, I ended up test driving the car yesterday and it felt uh, as standard. You can't really tell, I mean, with that you can't really tell anything, but um, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's definitely helping the situation. Um, it's definitely catching blow by. Uh, for the first, um, I guess the interval for that, I think it's a thousand miles, so I probably put like 20 miles on it. So it's, it's gonna take me a while for a thousand miles to pass, but um, I will be doing an update video at a thousand miles to see what type of blow by it, uh, it accumulates in those cans right there and right there. I've seen the video, I've seen uh, pictures of blow by, or I've seen pictures of people emptying those out and it's like disgusting. One of them looks like milkshake, another one looks like just dirty oil. So, yeah, guys, I uh, just wanted to quickly do that little outro because I forgot to do it yesterday, but uh, it's installed and today I'm gonna be working on the brakes. So, uh, look forward to the video on that. Uh, I'm actually, for those of you who actually haven't seen my calipers, um, they look like bananas, so stay tuned.